I am going to show you how to make the graph of y is equal to log base 2 of x. And perhaps this is one of the most fundamental and one of the first log graphs that we will do, right? So pay attention to the details that I'm going to show you. And to do this, I'm going to make a graph first. And you should check out my next video. I will show you how we will take an equation and then the shiftment and the translations and the flipping of the equation. Okay, so watch the next video. Anyways, set our table, we have the x values and the y values are just pretty much log base 2 of the x values that you are going to choose. And we are going to select a couple points and let me just show you the first one. I am going to choose x is equal to 0 and then let me plug in here, we will have log base 2 and then inside it's just a 0, right? Alright, and let me ask you what's log base 2 of 0? You can use a calculator, but you will get math error, right? This is actually not doable. It's not doable on a calculator. It's not doable because it's not defined. It. However, when we see log with any base, if the inside is zero, it tells us something about the graph. When we see things like this, this is telling us we will have a vertical acetal. We will have a vertical acetal at this x value x is equal to 0. So that means I go to when x is equal to 0, which is right here, right? And the vertical acetal, to represent that on the graph, we'll just draw a vertical dashed line like this. So that's indicate that right here. Yes, it's not doable on the calculator, but log of any base, if the inside is 0, we will have a vertical acetal. And in this case, is when the situation x is equal to 0, and that's the one I just draw right here for you. You must indicate that on the graph. Alright, the next x value that I'm going to choose is, uh, let me just give uh, two points, um, two spaces right here. I'm going to come here. I'm going to choose 1, okay? And I will plug in 1 into this x, so we'll get log base 2, and the inside is 1. And now what's log base 2 of 1? This is equal to 0, okay? Log of any base, if the inside is 1, you know that's 0, because 2 to the 0 power is 1. So this is telling us we have a point, 1, comma, 0. 1 is right here, and comma, 0 is right here, so they indicate that we have a point right here, okay? And then I'm going to choose the next number. Should I choose 2? Yes, I will in this case, because it happens to be a nice number. Put on 2, and then we will have 2 inside of log. We have log base 2, and the inside is 2. And what's log base 2 of 2? This right here is just 1, because we have 2 to the first power, and then this is 2 and 2, they match, so they can cancel out. So we have 1, right? So this is telling us we have a point, 2, 1. 2 is right here, 1 is right here, so this is 2, 1. That's the point that we have. And then I want to do more, right here, extend the table right here, I need to do more. What should I pick for the next x value though? Should I pick 3? Well, you could log base 2 of 3. Well, I don't know what that is though. We have to use a calculator because that is not a nice number. I would like to use 4. And let me just plug in this for you first. This is log base 2 and then the inside will be 4, right? And what's log base 2 of 4? Well, to figure this out, you have to ask yourself, 2 to what power will be 4? Well, that's 2, so this is going to be 2, okay? And you can watch the previous video on how to do this kind of things with our calculator. And what should I pick for the next x value? Should I pick 5? No. How about 6? No. When you are trying to make the graph of logarithms, right? Pay attention to the base. You want the inside of the logarithms turn out to be the powers of this number, okay? Since we have the base is 2, so we want to talk about the inside, turn out to be the powers of 2. So we have 1, 2, 4, I want to use 8 for the next one, because 8 is 2 to the third power. Let me write it down here, we have log base 2, and then the inside is the 8, and we know 8 is 2 to the third power, so we know this is going to be 3. And this will tell us we will have a point 8, 
comma three. Oh, I forgot to label this. Four comma two is right here, so let me label that first. Four comma two, and then a comma three. So a is right here, and three is right here, and you see this is the shape of the graph, right? Well, however, it seems like the starting point is right here at the one, and then this is what we have. If you would like, you can like connect the dots with a nice curve already. But do we have anything between zero and one? Well, that's the question, and that's why I left this two space right here. And you have to remember what does the vertical acetal do? When the graph is approaching to the vertical acetal, it will become vertical, either straight up or straight down. You can see from the path already, you can just connect the dots and then you can just go like this. And this time it will go straight down. I will show you a situation that the graph will go straight up in the next video as well. But to convince you, it will go straight down. We will have to pick some more x value here. Let me pick, once again, powers of 2. Let me pick 1 half. And why did I choose 1 half? Well, this is the same as 2 to the negative 1 power. That's why I pick 1 half. And then we will see this is 2 to the... This is log base 2. And then the inside is 2 to the negative 1. Right? That's the 1 half. And you see, cancel, cancel, you end up with negative 1. And this is telling us we have the point. 1 half comma negative 1. This is 0 for x, this is 0 for 1, 1 half is right here, and then we go down to negative 1, which is right here for the y value. That's another point. Let me do one more. Let's pick 2 to the negative 2 power, which we know it will be 1 over 4. And you kind of know the answer right here already, but let me write it down so we can have a nice table. Log base 2, and the inside is, let me write down, 2 to the negative 2 power. Cancel, cancel, you get negative 2, right? Alright, so you will have what? 1 over 4, comma, negative 2. So this is 1 half. So 1 over 4 is about right here. So just right here, let me see. You see that? And we will go down to negative 2. Okay? Oh, that should be in red. Let me put it down right here. Alright. So you see that this curve will really go straight down when you approach to the vertical asymptote. And you will never go, you know, cross. You can never cross the vertical asthole. You cannot draw anything that's between this. So this is enough. I'm just going to connect the dots for you. This is how I to do it, starting from here, and I'll just make a nice curve. It actually keeps going up. It never becomes flat, okay? And I will trace it back, and once we got here, we will go straight down. And this will never touch the vertical asymptote, okay? And this is the graph for y is equal to log base 2 of x. That's it.